In this episode, I wanted to show you a little bit of the mechanics on how to share, how to share prototypes to get feedback on your designs. The main thing I think is to select a frame that you wanna share. If you press on the button on the right top side, you'll get this little window preview of what you're gonna share. If you copy the link. and you open a new frame, you get a, a preview of the frame that you just shared. Yeah, it's all interactive, just like as you design it. You also get this uh, top bar and bottom bar. With this, you can toggle through all the frames in your prototype, which is good and bad. But if you perhaps you just want to share this frame and show in full screen, copy. And the difference is that you won't get the top and bottom bars. This is really good for testing, uh, for user testing in front of users to see how they interact with your prototype, uh, which is one of the main features why I use Framer in general. But if you go back to our our other view with the bars, if we go back to our first frame, we can also open it in mobile. Um, so you can pull up your phone, and I, so I have my phone right here. This is live previewing on QuickTime. But uh, if you have a chance, you just should download the Framer app from the if you don't have it already, you should download the Framer uh, preview app from the App Store. I already have it installed. So when you open it, you get this little nice scan QR code. Uh, I'm just going to open it. So this is my <laughs> matrix. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and scan. And when it scans, it's just going to load full screen or preview which is good because it's responsive. So it will just make it really big. So as you can see, you can still interact. I'm, I'm interacting with this and some of these areas are not responsive. So I need to think about how all of this will look and feel. So that's one way of sharing prototypes. Another way is by um, wrapping it around a device, which is sometimes useful for presentations. I want to open the insert view and I'm going to look for uh, device, which is right here. I can just type device as well to quicker. And uh, what this will give you is a frame wrapped around a device. And you can change from multiple devices. You got the SC if you want a small, Samsung. And these devices are kind of like a, a mock of the device. You can, it's not the full device. You can also have your iPad and iPhone 8. And then I have this little wire thingy, which is similar to how we use everything else. And then I'm just gonna connect it and that I will preview there. So if we select the device frame and we share, every frame in the whole prototype has a unique link. And I can just also select show full frame. So when I copy and paste, I will see the whole frame. And it's a good way to present. But if we use uh, and then we can also click over here. And then go on presentation mode and use our prototype just as we designed it. One of the main things that we saw was that all of these cars don't go anywhere. So on the next video, I'll show you how to connect those cards with, I'll show you how to connect those cards so you can make the prototype more interactive. See you in the next video. <laughs>
Thank you.